Hello you guys, here be 37 with the weekly deck profile. The deck profile this week is <laughs> Ursa. It's Van Ura Ursa. Um, due to the recent ban list, they hit Astrolay from our life, so we are all pretty sad. However, I think the deck keeps working perfectly. The deck is very consistent. Even though without Astrolay, we keep having a lot of card advantage with Emery, Mushu's Bubble, Rotic Prism, and other cards that we will see in the deck profile. So, uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, or if you, in case you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below, and let's move to the deck. As usual, we'll start with the main deck, and then we'll move to the side deck. Um, for the main deck, we got Chase the Man Sculptor. Uh, this is the best planeswalker in modern. Uh, we can brainstorm with him. We can just disturb the top deck of our opponents. Uh, or we can arrange our top deck. We can get rid of a creature. And the finisher is, is basically game. We got Tamiyo. Tamiyo, uh, Collector of Tales. Uh, this is great uh, because as we are playing, Urosa is a milling strategy most of the time. So uh, sometimes we mill something that we don't like to mill. And sometimes we don't want to mill and it's just in the grave and we can just get it back. Especially if we are splashing the combo of Ursa Trapped Wirsa in this deck. So we can get back something useful on the grave. Um, this is also good because we can just shut down, um, discard and sacrifice abilities from our opponents. So uh, I think Tamiju is a pretty good addition to the deck. Then we have the Disruptive Teferi. Teferi is so great, it shut downs instant speed of our opponents. So this card is good. Uh, Teferi is a must if you're playing any combination of blue-white. Then uh, moving to the creatures, we got Triple Ursa. Ursa is amazing. Ursa will get a lot of advantage this format without Astrolabe, without uh, the band strategy as it is, there's no strategy. We are going back to the combo. I think Ursa will gain a lot of value. And uh, this is great, it's just another win condition. Then we have Double Uro. This card is amazing. This card was saved from the band hammer. This card is great. We can mill Uro. We can cast Uro, mill Uro, get him a farm with the grave. Um, this card is a 6-6 six, six power creature. That basically you got card advantage, we got life advantage, and Uro is just great. Then we got double Jace. I usually like to include Jace in all of my blue strategies, blue control strategies. Jace is so good. Jace is, uh, you can fix your hand, you can mill some cards. Well, not mill, discard some cards. Uh, also, the finisher, the emblem is great. We can get game with, it's another win condition, we could get game with the emblem. So Jace is nice, this deck. We have Emery. Any combination of Uro and Ursa must have Emery. Emery is great. It's basically just one, one mana drop. Uh, it mills cards, get cards from the grave. It helps us to get Uro into the grave, to get some of the combo pieces into the grave, and then we can just claim them back with, with it, with a uh, Emery's ability. So I think Emery is good. We can have Kill It Goose as one mana drop. This card is nice, it's the ramp, the ramp of the deck, it creates an artifact. Uh, we can fix our mana now that Astrolabe is gone. We can fix our mana, we can get our green. Um, this just one drop, flying is it's so good. That's for the creatures. Moving to the spells, we got Way of Invention. This is the most powerful artifact tutor in modern. And I think it's the most powerful Artifact tutoring in the game. Uh, this is great, it's just to sort of combat pieces. We have Doctor Foundry to get the combo with Ursa and Sword. We got uh, one sword of the mech. Uh, we only need one because we are playing Emery. We can get it back and we're playing Tamiyo as well. Um, we are getting back and 
Um, we want this car in the grave, so with Emery and Tamillo, we can ensure this car is in the grave and just get it back with the triggers of Foundry. Double Opt. This is one of the replacements for Astrolabe. Opt is great if any control strategy. Path to Exile, the best white removal in the game, in, mo in modern to be specific. We have Triple Cryptic Command, my favorite counter spell. Uh, we can just loop it with Mrs. Suntory. Uh, we can get Hard Ventas, we can Rock Guard, uh, we can hit it with uh, Or Science and Speed Ability and knock the game. One on Leak. And double metallic mimic. Uh, this one is amazing. We're playing a lot of artifacts, so this counter spell is really good. For the artifact structure, we have triple misrepable. We can just get it infinite times with Emery. So nice. Uh, we also fix our top deck. We're running Fetchlands. We can get it back from Emery, draw extra cards. It's also enable us to fill the grave for Uro. Mox Ambar. This card is nice. It creates the mana fix that we are missing because of the banning of Astrolith. We can also tutor it for zero with Wear of Invention. And we can get it back with Emery as well. Eater Spellbomb, Cantrip. We can use it as removal or draw card, fill the grave, get it back from Embry. Uh, this is Prophetic Prism. This is also one of the one of the replacements for Astrolabe. This card is nice. It basically does it basically does the same as Astrolabe. It costs one more mana. But we can get it back with Embry. So I think it's good because it replaces itself and fix the mana as well. One pit and needle for some unexpected strategies. And for the lands, we have play set of Flood Strand, Double Rainforest, Pulled Delta, Hallowed Fountain, Temple Garden, Breeding Pool, Double Breeding Pool. And we're running a lot of basics because now Blood Moon is a thing. So we are running five islands. We are running one forest and one plains, just in case, because now Blood Moon is a thing with the cruel strategies. Double Mystic Sanctuary and double Field of Ruin to get rid of Tron lands or playing against Titan of some annoying lands. That's for the main deck. For the extra deck, we are playing one Ashok against any dredge strategy, any amulet, titan, just basically any deck that's searched from the library or based on the grade. We've got Narset, so good against control, against basically any blue deck, any deck with that creates advantage from drawing cards. We got Corfoy Walker, this card is nice now that Porn is in the place again, all over modern. So this card is nice, protection from red. Every time player casts a spell, we gain one life. Uh, this is supposed to be double Ice Fang Kotal. I will get them soon. Double Eater Gust against Burn, against Titan, against Gruel Midrange. Uh, this is great because now that Blood Money is a spot, we can just get rid of it. Uh, Celestial Purge, another great removal. For now, Crocs at Dex, Death Shadow. Uh, born timely reinforcement. This is a must in any control deck running white. Damping sphere because we hate Trump, we hate Titan. So this is a nice addition. Um, Nihil spell bomb against Dredge, against Graveyard. Supreme Verdict and Detention Sphere for annoying stuff and just to erase the battlefield. So that's it for the deck. This is Bantu Orsa. Please let me know any comments or suggestions for this deck. Um, next deck profile will be probably the Mirror Flash in Modern. 
So stay tuned for the next tech profile. Thanks for watching.